From our disc golf course back in action to the City Hub project gaining traction. These stories and so much more coming up next on Richland Now. Hello and welcome to the latest edition of Richland Now. I'm Gail Everett. On September 8th, Candy Mountain burst into flames. The blaze is believed to be caused by a late night lightning strike. The fire was substantial, burning an estimated one third of the 200 acre property. Most importantly, nobody was hurt and no structures were lost due to the fire. The parking lot area and the lower, flatter portions of the trail escaped damage. Officials have decided to keep the trail open. A huge thank you to the local firefighters and police officers for fighting the fire and handling road closures and evacuations. Officers from the West Richland and Richland Police Departments and the Benton County Sheriff's Office responded to the fire. Firefighters with Benton Fire Districts 1, 2, and 4, along with Franklin Fire District 3, Walla Walla Fire District 5, West Benton Fire and Rescue, and the Richland and Hanford Fire Departments all battled the blaze. Thank you for all of your amazing efforts. Recently, Richland Mayor Bob Thompson received a letter from Corps of Engineers Lieutenant Colonel Damon De La Rosa. He writes, I am writing to express my appreciation for the professionalism of your fire department during the recent wildfire on Bateman Island, which is federal property leased by the Corps of Engineers to the city of Richland. My team and I were extremely impressed by the actions of Chief Tom Huntington and the entire Richland Fire Department in protecting Native American cultural resources while fighting this fire. Recognizing the cultural sensitivity of Bateman Island to local tribes, Chief Huntington immediately contacted the Walla Walla District to assure us that his priority was to limit ground disturbances by his firefighters while effectively protecting the city of Richmond from a spread of the dangerous fire. On behalf of the entire Walla Walla District, please express our appreciation to Chief Huntington and his firefighters for their professionalism and dedication to this complex and sensitive aspect of their dangerous mission. Well, the City of Richland Energy Services, a nonprofit municipal utility, is required to cover its cost of service, and that means periodic electric rate increases. For 2018, Richland City Council will consider a proposed electrical rate increase at its September 19th meeting and will consider final approval of the increase at its October 3rd Council meeting. The proposed rate increase is 6.5%. The proposed rate increase is due to increases in Bonneville Power Administration's wholesale power costs. Richland purchases its wholesale power from Bonneville Power and BPA is implementing an increase effective October 1st. Even with this rate increase, Richland rates will remain some of the lowest in Washington. Visit the city's website for more information about the proposed 2018 electric rates and be sure and follow the city on Facebook and Twitter to learn ways to reduce your electric bill by being more energy efficient. For more information, call 942-7401. I am excited to share that one of our most unique park features is once again open to the public. About a year and a half ago, the City of Richland had to shut down the disc golf course at James Lawless Park. The park was shut down because two of the baskets were stolen from the course. This prompted the disc golf club to remove the remaining baskets so they would not be stolen as well. The Columbia River Disc Golf Club has devised a new anchoring method that will prevent the baskets from being stolen. So the park is once again open for use. The City of Richland has purchased two new baskets to replace the ones that were stolen. The City also rebuilt one of the T-blocks as its location was impacted by the Dupertail Street storm drainage pond construction. The 18-hole disc golf course at Lawless Park is open to the public and free to use. A fun and welcoming end of summer event that will help you find your community is right around the corner. Many residents struggle to find their place in our community, and those who have want to help you uncover yours. 
Finding Your Community is a nonpartisan event which aims to bring local community action groups together to forge common ground in improving our community and our world. Finding Your Community will take place in Howard Amon Park near the Fingernail on Sunday, September 24th from 1 to 3 p.m. Well, the Richland Firefighters Community Outreach Program will host a charity golf tournament on Friday, September 30th at Sun Willows Golf Course. Players of all abilities and skill levels are welcome. The Community Outreach Program was formed in order to raise money with the sole purpose of giving it back to our community members in their time of need. Range balls, golf cart, 18 holes of golf, and a banquet-style dinner is provided with each paid entry fee. More information, including how to register for this exciting tournament, is available at the link at the bottom of your screen. Our annual Richland Town Hall meeting is scheduled for Thursday, October 19th from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. The meeting will be held at the Richland Community Center in the Riverview Room. The purpose of holding a town hall meeting is to present information regarding the city budget to our citizens. Attendees will receive information on the budget process, priority projects for the coming year, and ways to stay involved. All members of the community are encouraged to attend and engage in dialogue with our city leaders. Town Hall speakers include Mayor Bob Thompson, City Manager Cindy Rents, and key leaders. Well, you are invited to the historic groundbreaking event for the new Richland City Hall. The event is scheduled for Friday, September 22nd at 10 a.m. The groundbreaking ceremony will take place at the corner of Jadwin and Swift, which is the location of the Federal Building parking lot. The current City Hall facility was built in 1958, and this project enforces the City of Richland's identity, values, and is consistent with our strategic leadership plan. Currently, residents must visit multiple city buildings for various services, and the new City Hall will combine these locations, creating a one-stop shop allowing for enhanced access and easier use. The new City Hall will be three stories tall and 40,000 square feet. Construction should finish in spring of 2019. If you would like more information on the stories you have seen here, visit the City of Richland's webpage at the link at the bottom of your screen. And if you're not interacting with us on social media, I strongly encourage you to log on and like the City of Richland on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Gail Everett, and thanks for joining me on this edition of Richland Now.